Hey, how's it going guys? This is Tom from Upside Down Shark and I am backstage here at Camden's famous Underworld and joined by arguably the handsomest band in the world, Issues. I mean, I'm not gonna correct you. I can't feel you now, feel you now. I'm in love with the rhythm, the rhythm, the rhythm. In love with the rhythm, How are you guys doing? Good, how you doing? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Happy to be here with you guys. Uh, so for the fortunate, uh, unfortunate, should I say, few that don't know who you are, <laughs> would you mind introducing yourselves? Uh, we're Issues and we, well, I'm Sky. I'm AJ. Yeah, we're a band. Pretty good band. <laughs> like, you know, like top, top five band. Sick, well, I appreciate top it. Top five band. Um, so your new album, Beautiful Oblivion, has been out for about two weeks now. Um, what's the reception been to it? Uh, the reception has been like, uh, I don't want to say surprisingly positive because we believed in it, but it's been like surprisingly very positive. That's good. I guess. Like I didn't. I like I expected people to like it. Hopefully, like it, obviously, I expected issues fans to like it because mm. we like it a lot. But um, all the reception I've seen has been like overwhelmingly like not just like oh it's a pretty cool album, but a lot of people are going like like whoa. I'm like all right, it's That's a great reaction. Want. Cool. So uh, I was reading an interview that you guys did with All Press uh, a while ago, and you said that you wrote about 50 songs for this album. Mm. Um, how hard was it to pick which songs to feature on the final cut? Man, mm. there were there were a good amount of arguments and fights on, on <laughs> yeah. what would make it. I still have the like. Uh, we made like a an Excel sheet of like. <laughs> uh, like all because it wasn't exactly like 50 it was like 47 or something yeah, I mean, yeah. you just say 50 because it's like it's a nice round number right it's a nice round number but it had all the songs and uh we color coded it based on how like how many members of the band thought it should make the album and uh howard benson the producer should, uh, whether he thought it should make the album so basically like we had like half the album all five of us agreed on so mm -hmm. like howard and then the four members and then a bunch of stuff that three members agreed on, a bunch of stuff that two members agreed on, and a ton of stuff that one member agreed on. And we basically just had to go down the list, and then we had so many arguments about the ones that like oh, half no. of us agreed on. And then like, yeah, I mean, we, we just tried to design a, uh, a journey, almost. Like, okay, example, Get It Right and No Problem are both on the album, and both are designed to be like kind of dope album tracks, mm -hmm. not necessarily singles. Sure. Um, but they could only go on the album if the other one was there because otherwise one of them would be too much of an outlier. So like just little decisions like that, I suppose. Cool. And if I can just take a brief editorial, the album is pretty dope. Um, but I suppose the question is, will we ever see the 50 song cut of the album? Oh God. Oh. <laughs> probably not. Just well, sound I mean, about that shit. Yeah. Or yeah. well, we're probably gonna do like, we're probably gonna bring a lot of those back for like future cool. releases and stuff, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the, the full 50 will ever see the live day. No, that's a shame. There's, there's a lot that doesn't deserve to, there's a lot of trash. <laughs> like when we say 50 songs, we're not talking like 50 great songs. <laughs> we're talking 50 ideas, right? But um, uh, there's, it was kind of fun because uh, near the end of the process, we were on fire and like writing a bunch of stuff I thought was really sick that we literally just didn't have the time to even touch. There's demos in our Dropbox that are like, man, this could have beaten like some of the best songs on this album, mm. you know? Um, but we just, yeah, we just didn't have time. So um, yeah, we have plenty of material to draw from on the next go around. We're gonna try to not take three years again. I hope so, because right. that was, <laughs> as an Issues fan, that's a rough period, not having that happen to wait. We, we needed the time, but yeah. I mean, the album was <laughs> worth it, the album was worth it. Um, but here at Upside Down Shark, we discuss a wide breadth of pop culture, whether it be films, music, mm -hmm. TV, video games, and everything. So with that in mind, if you could have an Issues track featured in anything, whether it be any of the above, or a wrestling theme, or anything like that, what would you like an Issues track featured as? Tapping Out should be on some fight night. Preferably UFC, 100% should be. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, I think Flexen could be in Rocket League. I oh. think that's like oh, a really nice Oh, yeah. yeah! I hadn't even thought of that, but that would be dope. Yeah, yeah. that would be really sick. Don't we know some people there? Can, can we, we should like email them. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Video, well, yeah, I mean, video games don't really do the like uh, band music as much anymore, but like, Man, that'd be so cool. I think this generation needs a new Tony Hawk game just to get a whole generation back into But not Tony Hawk. Team. Something else. Yeah. Another skate. Skate 3. Skate right. 4. Another skate. skate. Yeah. And, you know, a new franchise. Yeah. 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 Dope. 
Um, so we're also advocates of positivity here. We try and keep on the positive side of everything in the world. And uh, one way we do that is through inspirational quotes. Uh, my personal mantra is, I can't believe I ate the whole thing, because it works in basically every situation in life and always just keeps me going. So uh, what would your inspirational quote be to share with the world? Mm. Ooh, man, you, get, you, got the, you got a bunch. Yeah, but I just tweet them and then forget what they are. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh, I got one. Yeah, I'm drawing blanks. What? what? Uh, blood is thicker than water has always been my family's motto. It's a basic, big one. Yeah, basically just like, you know, like, Keep it tight. Yeah, keep it tight, right? But then it, uh, someone told, someone explained like Scottish people like this to me, which I thought was very interesting. Very thin outer wall, very thick inner wall, which I think is like kind of, I think it's a great way to be. You know, yeah. make friends easily, but then like, you know, like your circles, your circle. But uh, as we sort of wrap up uh, the interview, uh, what does 2020 have in store for issues? Oh man, I'll let you know when we figure it out. <laughs> I, ho I hope it's more fanny packs, cause that's the, Best thing I've ever seen. But that's a swear word here. This is a bum bag, as far as I know. I mean, I try to accommodate to, to the lingo. Um, I almost wore my Jurassic Park one today, but... Oh, oh what? Man. Yeah. Is it like OG? Yeah. No. Yeah, with like sort of the warning tape as the strap. Oh, that's... you gotta be kidding me. I know. That's oh, man. That's tight. Next yeah, time. We've got to do this again. Next year, we're probably going to be doing looking at a lot more touring, uh, more media, I'm sure, videos and stuff. Like... When you put out an album, you just kind of hold on and just go. <laughs> more but better. More right, but more better. but better. It's another good life motto. Um, nice. But the one question we end all of our interviews with is, uh, we're Upside Down Shark, and so with that in mind, AJ, Sky, what is your favorite shark? Can be f fictional, can be real, could be Bruce from Finding Nemo, that's a popular choice, whatever you want. Mm, I take this way too seriously, let me think. Please do. Take your time. The strangest one we've had so far is Penguin from Batman Returns. That's weird, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Oh man. I really I really do like lemon sharks, but I gotta say hammerheads. That's what I was gonna say. Were you gonna say hammerhead? But if you said that, I'd say probably a Mako. Mako. Mako's nice a solid sleek. choice. We've only ever had the Mako once before, so that's a good choice. And Hammerhead is our logo, so, oh, you know, right. like... It's very that's charismatic, it. you know? That's it, yeah. Or, no, no, specifically, great white sharks from, like, South Africa, because they breach, and that's sick. Yeah. There's nothing scarier than literally a flying shark. Right. right. <laughs> it's a whole movie about it. Yeah, but no, yeah. I'll oh, lie. I lied. A goblin shark. Goblin shark oh, is our most yeah. popular They're choice. Sick. Oh, goblin is that the one, great. like, under the yeah. Arctic that, like... No, no, no. Goblin sharks are the ones that can unhinge their jaw. So it like... Phew. They're gnarly, yeah. they're gnarly. Sick. Yeah, okay. definitely look up the Goblin Shark. Greenland Shark's pretty cool as well. They live oh, for that's, that's what 300 years. They're crazy. Right. Uh, is there anything you'd like to plug before we wrap up? Um, sharks are cool, but squids are better. Squids are better. Um, beautiful Oblivion is out. All the music, all the videos coming at you from every side. Um, oh, doing an American tour, probably coming back. Oh, Slam Dunk. Dunk. Right, okay, that's what I'm supposed to say. I was searching and I found it. Perfect. Sky, AJ, it's been a pleasure. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. Cool. Beautiful oblivion. I can't feel it.